Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. Captain T100 here again, bringing you episode four, I think, four or five, um, of Captain Dreadstone Cadets. Um, I've recently recreated the world um, with this redstone ready preset because it goes way down, so we've got more room to work with. Um, but I'm just going to have a little recap of what we've done so far. So we started off the first episode with what is redstone and how it works. You know, it's just simple stuff. Then we went on to um, repeaters. And we also covered inverters as well. So it's pretty simple. And then the last episode we covered um, piston doors. Excuse me. Um, we covered piston doors, um, and now this episode we're going to cover um, how to get rid of all this, because obviously you don't want this. As you're walking through the door, you know, you don't want to see this. So, let's recreate the, the piston setup. So let's do it, um, let's do it here. So we talked last time, that's not right. Um, so obviously now this is going to get pushed out to here. So them there. And there you go. So they're gonna close and create our door. We also talked about last time about how when blocks are powered, it powers any adjacent blocks. So this is why um the bottom piston is getting powered. Um anyway, yeah. So this is the basic version that's not uh, been neatened up in any way. So now we're gonna neaten it up. So you want pressure plates, these can be wooden or stone, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever cosmetic appeal you want for your base. Let's delete this for a second. So we're just gonna I'm gonna dig out a little area here just for the sake now this is this is gonna be on a much bigger scale. You can compact it a lot more um into the design but for the sake of the tutorial um I'm actually gonna just make the area a little bit bigger just so um, you can clearly see what I'm doing. So we'll bring it down. Okay, so now going back to one of the previous episodes, um, we need to invert the signal. Because at the minute, let's just come down here as well. Let's knock this out. And these. And there you go. Right. So we need to join these two the pressure plates so you can join them any way you want like that is fine so I'll show you that when we step on this pressure plate the redstone beneath us is getting powered so that's how that works stand on anyone and it will power that redstone so now if we were to join these up to the pistons we'd step on it and then it will close which obviously, you know, that's not what we want. Oh, I've done this wrong. Hold on. Um, there we go. So you also have to make sure that it comes around and doesn't come up the side of the block facing that way. The redstone has to be going into the piston. My mistake. But obviously now, you know, this is a problem. So let me fix this side too. So, whatever pressure plate you stand on now, it's going to shut the door, which is a problem. So, what we need to happen is this signal needs to be inverted. So, for this, we remember from the previous episode that we need to create an inverter, which is simple as that. I mean, you can do it both sides and do it one, but you can kill two birds with one stone. So let's invert the signal here, bring the redstone up to it, and now, there you go. You can see that the doors are shut when there's no signal being applied to the pressure plate. Step on them, they both open, go through, and shut. So now if we just get some sandstone back out, and um, just get rid of that. So you can see if we cover all this up, just come around... Now you do have to bear in mind as well, oh, also make sure you don't cut the signal off. 
by doing that you see that breaks the signal so don't break that off and um, what you can actually do is just rearrange this but at the end like also as well bear in mind this block here that's above the torch will be powered so if you plan on putting any other redstone around it then you have to bear in mind that that block will always be powered so that could interfere with any other any other circuits that you're going to put near now obviously you know this is still pretty exposed but piston doors you always have walls next to them so if we do this you see no because uh, this is going to be you know in a cave or inside a base so all this will be like encapsulated within um you know a wall which you build so as you're walking up to it let me just finish this give it a bit of appeal um so you know as you're walking up all you can see is two pressure plates they go back and then you simply repeat the pattern on the other side and then that's it so that's how to hide your piston doors you can do this a lot more compact i've just made it open and bigger for sake of the tutorial so you can see what i'm doing um so thanks for watching guys give it a try